My name is Grant. I'll be your nurse today. Is it okay if I assess you? Yeah. Um, can you say your name and date of birth? Riley Laramore, 022802. All right. And then are you having any pain today? Yeah, a little bit. Can you rate that out of 10? Probably a three or four. Okay. So how have you been doing um, ever since you've had your baby? Well, I can't use my legs anymore. What's uh, that? I don't know. I just don't have any feeling in them. Well, that's um, just a normal response to um, your epidural that we gave you to help with the, the pregnancy. Um, so we'll get into that later. But I'm just going to start with getting some vitals on you. So I'm just going to put this blood pressure cuff on you. And that's all normal. So I'm just going to listen to you. So apical pulse is equal to peripheral. I'm just going to listen to your lungs. take your temperature so that's all normal and I'll lay you I'll lay the head of the bed down so now I'm just gonna touch each breast um, please just tell me if there's any pain I will. okay you notice any pain here no none at all okay so it's not um, swollen no lumps um, nipples are intact what about this one no that one's fine too Okay, so there's no lumps, patient stated no pain, nipples intact, no swelling, um, that um, nipple is intact as well. And then your IV, um, so there's no abnormal signs, there's no redness, swelling, um, IV is in place. And then we'll go down and I'll assess your perineum. So, when was the last time you had your um, dressing changed? Uh, I think I changed it like two hours ago. Two hours ago? Okay. Have you noticed any foul smells? Uh, nothing besides my normal uh, period. period. Okay. So, if you were to have um, irregular blood flow and uh, multiple times within an hour, you need to call your, your doctor. Okay. Um, also, have you noticed any clots? Uh, just little small ones. Little small ones? I don't know if that's a problem or not. Um, so just um, little ones, as long as they don't get to the size of a golf ball, um, you should be okay. If they were to get to the size of the golf ball, you need to call your provider. Okay. All right? So it looks like there's um, red blood, fresh blood here, some old blood since um, you haven't changed it for over two hours. So after the um, assessment I'll be sure to change your pad for you okay. and we'll just start doing every hour's checkups on you why do we need to do every hour um, just to make sure that you're not overly bleeding okay um, and it helps note um, just the process of um, postpartum okay okay so now I'm going to um, massage in a circular motion just your uterus um, it helps with the blood flow after pregnancy so I do note that the fundus is two fingertips above the umbilicus. Um, do you feel any pain here? No. Okay. When was your last bowel movement? Um, before I had birth. Before you had birth? Okay. Was it normal? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then have you noticed any dysuria, troubles peeing at all? No, I haven't. Okay. Um, any signs of an infection, UTI? What, how would I know? So some signs for a UTI would just be foul smell urine, blood, cloudy urine, Flank pain on your side. Um, have you noticed any of those? No, I haven't. Okay. Well, perfect. So if you were to, just um, be able, be sure to call your doctor or you can uh, press your call button and we'll come in for you. Okay. All right? So I'm going to put that back on there and I'm going to assess for legs. Um, so since you said you can't feel your legs, um, that's just because of the epidural. Um, once you... Um, regain feeling in your legs, we'll be able to get you up. We can walk you around the unit just to help prevent DVTs from yeah. happening. Right now, I'm just going to assess. Do you Have you had any pain down here? No, not really. None okay. that I can tell of. All right, so there's no swelling, no edema, um, no redness, no warmth there. And as I'm coming back up here, I'm going to check your perineum just for using Rita. Um, so there's no redness, no edema, um, no abnormalities there. I'm going to help you assist you to roll to this side real quick 
So there's no hemorrhoids, um, no blood drainage right now. And uh, now I'm just gonna check the epidural space. So the, the wound is approximated. There's no sign of infection, no draining. Um, so it looks like everything's healing properly. And I'll roll you back here. And it looks like you have a catheter. I'm just gonna assess the catheter. So it's still intact. And I'm measuring the liquid. It looks like there's 800 milliliters in here. So I'll note that in the chart. And then I'm going to assess just the C-section line as well. The patient had a C-section. We just assess. Um, there's no abnormalities, no drainage, no swelling. Have you noticed any pain here? Uh, not really, just when I cough. And you said you're able to pass flatus? Yeah, I am. Okay, perfect. So that's just um, a question that we asked just to see if there's um, any paralytic ileus, which is a common abnormality to a procedure. Okay. Um, so you said you've been feeling okay this whole time? Yeah, but what was the point of you checking my legs? I don't really understand that. So part. checking your legs just for any DVTs, um, you could have potential clots that okay. form in your legs. So like I said earlier, once you're able to feel... Um, your legs again will get you up and walking to help prevent any okay. um, thrombolytics okay. in your in your um, vessels. Okay. So now I'm just gonna go chart. Same patient um, emotional state was happy. I would note the drainage if I saw any abnormalities in your chart, um, and that's just the end of the assessment.